Remember Satan's a cherub. Ezekiel chapter number 28, he said, Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. He's the cherub. What's a cherubim? A cherubim is a special creature, a spirit creature that God created to be close to the throne of God. Truth is, in the Holy of Holies, he stood, they stood right over the top of the very Ark of the Covenant. The most holy place. They had, they had close access to things like this. Ezekiel 28 talks about how that he was the anointed cherub that covereth. I want to get into off in all of that this morning. But that covering of the holy of 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 the of the cover, of, of, the, of uh, Satan is quite a thing to think about. It's quite it, it really is because it tells you that Satan was not just an angel, as some people say. No, no, no. He's far above that, far above it, with power and authority. The fact of the matter is, there are those who believe, and I'm one of them, that it's Almighty God. It gets no higher. And then the archangel, Michael, who's the only one mentioned in the Bible. But this cherub that covereth may very well stand with the same power and authority as that archangel. Amen. Amen. Because they lock horns in the Bible. And it's something to think about. So the Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter number 2, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. I don't know what the delusion is. If I did, it wouldn't be a delusion, would it? It's a deception. Now think about that for a moment. You reject the truth. You say no to Christ, and he sends you a lie, and you'll believe it, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. What is the delusion? What is the lie? I don't know. But I know this. Once you reject the truth, you're ready for the lie. Amen. What's the truth? The truth's a person. The truth is not a message. A message can be anything. A message can be changed. A, mes a message can, can say one thing today and something else tomorrow. It's not a message. It's a person. Yeah. You see, the Bible is not about a message. The Bible is about a person. The Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man come to the Father but by me. Once you receive the Lord Jesus Christ, you receive the truth. It's a person. You see, receive the truth of salvation, the truth of redemption. You've received the truth of eternity. You receive the truth of who you are. If you reject the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll believe a lie. Churches in America, folks, they're finished. They're dead. I heard a man say the other day, statistics, he said, did you know that there's over 30,000 churches in America? 30,000. 30,000 churches, 30-something 30 thousand churches in this country. That's a lot of churches. Did you know that? A lot of churches. Did you know if just half of those people in that 30,000 churches in this country would get serious with God, that this country could be turned around? We pray for revival. Let me ask you this. If God gave you a revival, would you do anything with it? What would you do with it? Well, I want to feel good. That's no revival. But that's what most revivals are. Make you feel good. You'll have two or three days to feel good. Bring in some professional uh, entertainers, musicians. I feel good. We've had revival. That's not a revival. What's a revival? A revival is to come back to the basics, to come back to where you started from. It's to rise up inside your soul who you are and what you believe. It's a change again. It's akin to being born again. That's what a revival is. It changes your life. Amen. How many would like to have that? I don't want to believe a lie. I don't want to be deceived. I'm going to cling to the Lord Jesus Christ with all of my soul, with all of my heart, and all of my spirit today. There's nowhere else to go. Amen. He is it. He's everything. I want to ask you today. Some of you may come to Temple Baptist Church be the first time you ever heard the gospel in your life. You say, what's the gospel, preacher? The gospel's a person. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. The Lord Jesus Christ is the gospel. He died on the cross for you, was buried, and rose again the third day for you. Neither is there salvation in any other. You receive that person. You've received salvation, folks. So how do I receive that person, preacher? What do I do to receive him? In your own way and in your own heart, you're willing to bow the knee to him. Confess to him you're a sinner. You need to be saved. You don't tell him what you want and what needs to be done. You just say, Lord Jesus, come to my heart. Come into my soul. Help me and save me. And he will. He'll do it, boy. He'll do it. And when he does it, you'll know it. And then you'll, you'll want to tell other people about it. The most wonderful thing that ever happened to you is the day you're born again. Hallelujah. You, it, it doesn't get old. It gets better. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. I'm going to tell you, and I'll shut up. If God would save a sorry, low-down piece of garbage like me, he'll save you. Amen. Amen.